Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> I suppose you guys are wondering where I've been because it's been about, let me see, about a month now that I haven't posted a video. And the reason being is because um, I really didn't have any content to show you guys. And I don't know if you guys want blogging uh, type videos or not. So I really haven't been posting because most of my videos are about home decor and stuff like that but I do want to change it up a little bit and do other videos as well and in that being said is when we had sold our house which we have not yet um, I was going to take you guys along with me on the house hunting trip and everything like that and show you the process of how I'm going to decorate our new home um, but we still have not sold our house and it's very, very um, discouraging to me because where I live right now, the market is very, very slow. And I've had showings and everything else, but uh, nobody is really buying. And it's not just my house. There, there's a, a few other people that are having the same problem. Now, <clears throat> I've been taking everybody's advice. There's a bus going by, so I'll wait a second. So I've been taking everybody's advice, and I got rid of a bunch of um, furniture. We're doing a big uh, garbage clean out right now, um, the township where I live. So we got rid of a lot. So I opened up the house actually quite a bit. So the downstairs, we got rid of the sofas downstairs. We moved the big armchair that was upstairs downstairs so it just opens up the upstairs um i've been making a list of um the feedback that we've been getting about the house and <clears throat> there are three main issues um in the feedback that i've gotten one is we do not have a deck um we knew that going in when we sold the house um sorry we, know, we knew that when we um, listed the house. So we are offering an incentive on the house. Um, we're offering $3,000 to put towards the deck. Um, if the house doesn't sell, then we will add the deck on to the house. Um, the second issue, a lot of people don't like the black cabinets it's not for everybody and I do understand that um, so again if we do not sell the house I am going to change out the cabinets in my kitchen I'm going to paint them white um, I'm actually going to paint the whole house I'm going to change out all the rooms I'm gonna go white everywhere keep it very neutral very simple and that way it will also make the house look bigger um, on the inside when everything is white and what was the third thing again um, it, it totally slipped my mind oh the third thing is uh, very very minor um, it's not even worth mes messaging but my main two uh, issues were the deck and the kitchen so those things will get changed out if uh, we do not sell so we did sign our contract one more time till the end of July or August. If the house doesn't sell by then, it will come off the market and I will do the fix ups. Right now I am fixing up the yard. That's what I've been doing. Um, a lot of you know, sorry, I'm doing the adjustment because I'm holding my phone here. Um, a lot of you know, we had a veggie garden in our backyard and we are ending, um, we ended up taking them down last fall so I've been planting a lot of grass seed um, because we still have some patchy areas in our yard and um, it just looks so bad in the spring but now the grass is coming up I just um, seeded again yesterday because we're supposed to get rain starting tonight tomorrow so I seeded it again and I did get some um, sod for along the side of the fence which I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a little tour anyway so you guys understand what I'm going through. So just one moment. 
So along the fence, we put some sod here. So because the dogs, um, when people walk by, they kind of run back and forth along the fence and they wore a spot. So at uh, Home Depot, they were selling some sod. So I got some, I laid some down. I've been watering the crap out of it because I don't want it to die. And then you can see some brown uh, patchy areas. So that has lots of grass seed in it as well. Um, the grass is coming along really well, if you could see over there. Over here was mostly all dirt. It's had, um, it's all grown in now. So, and then I wanted to show you my little fairy garden because um, I put this together. And I picked up the stuff at Michael's because they were doing a buy one get one. And I, I did want to do a fairy garden um, for the longest time. But I was planning on waiting until we moved, but um, because I wanted to do a really big fairy garden, but this one will have to do for now. I just put it in one of my planters. I do have some faux flowers, but I'm going to switch them out next week when I get some more flowers at the nursery, um, just to dress it up some. And that way, whenever they do the showing, it'll look cute in front of the door. But I'll take you to the back and then you can see um, what I've done in the backyard. So most of the backyard, the greenery has come through where I've seeded the most. I did put some more grass seed here and more over here. And you can actually see where it's lighter, where the garden boxes were. So that's where the garden boxes were. And if we don't sell the house, I'm actually thinking about doing a fire pit in this corner, doing it rounded off. But <clears throat> one of my veggie garden boxes, we did take it down and um, I started to do a flower garden in here. There's a few more flowers I want to get, but I still have to mulch it off. And I still have to finish the edging going around this back area. But once I get the mulch and everything, it'll look good. Over there, I, I want to put a tree, an apple tree over here. So I seen them at the nursery, so I want to grab them. But it's, it's looking pretty good, actually. A lot of work, though, doing it. Oh, I was sweating so bad yesterday, but uh, I put some more grass seed down over there so it'll look good. But that's where the deck is going to go, right there, once uh, we find out if we're moving or not. Um, the moving process is very, very hard, especially my husband, he's no longer here and he's away. Um, so I'm doing it all by myself. So it's really, really stressful and really, really hard for me. Um, because he's been only coming home every second weekend. So because we don't have a deck, I've been using under my carport. And it actually works really well because it's covered. And we can still sit out here while it's raining. Now, I got new cushions from my kids. Um this year for Mother's Day because my cushions were old and faded and I purchased this rug here at Home Depot and then I got some faux flowers here which I'm going to add some real ones um, like I said next week when I get uh, paid I will go get start getting some new flowers I just like the faux flowers because you don't have to worry about watering them but it turned out alright we have our barbecue over here and then just a cute little seating area and I did do a little design here or decoration here so I was at the dollar store and I got this cute little gnome <clears throat> and I like him because he's he's very simple and he has a little bit of a rustic charm to him and then I have the citronella candle next to him in the same color and then I also got this um, lantern at the dollar store for four dollars and it has the candle inside it and it's one of those flameless candles then on the other side i just added some greenery and of course some flowers from michael's 
just to dress it up. So when people come for viewings and stuff like that, it looks all nice and pretty. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So basically this is what it looks like underneath my carport. It's nothing special. And my wreath over there, I, it's kind of hiding the lockbox. So you don't really see it. Um, but it looks good. The dogs are in the house. It's way too hot here for them. They're, they want to come outside, but yet they want to go back inside. So this is what the carport looks like. Like I said, I will do the fix-ups that are needed in the house if the house doesn't sell. Um, and I will do the process with you guys. So I'm trying to do a lot more um, in the yard right now because I'm trying to get the yard looking nice as, as much as possible. So... But uh, I haven't really, all my decorations and everything, like my house is so empty right now. And I, it's, it's kind of depressing in a way because I really love all my decorations out. And my husband loves all my decorations out. And it's been very, very depressing because I just want the process to be done and over with. And I want it, I want to go where he is right now. And start our new journey with our new house and everything and it's just it's been a real struggle and there's been days where I've been upset and depressed about it and stuff like that but I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that somebody will just love our house and buy it <laughs> so but um, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated um, I am on Instagram I've been posting a lot of insta stories on there um, so if you guys want to go over to my Instagram, you'll see a lot more stuff on there, but I will try to get more videos up on YouTube. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do the process of me finishing off the garden and all that stuff for you guys. And, um, like I said, if the house doesn't sell, then you guys will help me decorate. I will take you along when I paint everything and show you the process I have to go through to get the house ready for sale and all that so don't forget to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and you guys you will get updated as soon as uh, you do that so I will see you guys in the next video bye guys